Hello, I'm Anna, and today we'll be doing a skills builder called Made to Measure from the topic Innovate, sponsored by our friends at Rolls Royce. We're going to make a boat and try its different sails to get our boat to travel as far as possible. To do this activity, you'll need a pen and paper, a sponge, a paper straw, a cocktail or lollipop stick, scissors, sticky tape, a measuring tape, some kitchen roll or tea towel in case of any spills, and a large tub of water. You could use a bath or even a pad and pool, but if you don't have access to either of these, a shiny table works really well too. Remember to have an adult watching to help you if needed. Air and wind can be really powerful. They help airplanes fly and sailboats to travel. Ready to build your own boat? Start by poking a cocktail stick into the middle of your sponge. This will be your mast, the part of the boat that holds the sail. If you're using a lollipop stick, you might need to make a small hole in the sponge first using your scissors. Next, let's make a sail for it using paper. Draw a sail on your paper, but remember to think about the size and shape of your sail. What shape do you think will work best? If you want, you could even colour in the sail. Once you're happy with your sail, cut it out and think about where and how to attach your sail to the mast. Would you put it in the middle or at the edge? Use a small amount of sticky tape to attach it. Your boat is ready. Put your boat on the water or your table and grab your straw. Flow your boat once using the straw and see how far it goes. Use your measuring tape to check how far it travels and jot down the distance. Do this two more times, making a note of the measurement at the end of each go. Remember to squeeze out the sponge every time. Now take your three measurements and add them together. Then divide them by three. Use a calculator or ask an adult to help you if needed. This makes your measurement more reliable in case you go differently each time. It's called an average. Chat with someone else who made a boat too. Look at which boats went the furthest and talk about what went well. It's okay if it didn't go well the first time. That's part of the process of innovation. Innovation is finding new ways of doing things and finding solutions to challenges. Don't be afraid to give things a go. You can always change things to try and make it better. Sails that catch more air tend to work best. How could you change your sail to make the boat go further? Try making a new sail for your boat. Test it three times and then compare the measurements. Which sail was the best? Why do you think that was? You could even try this activity with a paper aeroplane or a toy car. Thanks for joining. This activity is from the Innovate Skills Builder Stage 2. If you'd like to share a picture, check with someone over the age of 13 first and ask if they can share it using hashtag adventures at home. For more fun activities, head to the Girl Guiding Shop at girlguidingshop.co.uk.